Hey what's good, I'm Sadia and in this video I'm going to be reviewing a less than £50 smartwatch that I got from Amazon. As you can see the packaging is super minimal and it doesn't really boast about its features but it has a lot of them. I'll go through them shortly but first let's get it unboxed. Okay so sliding this off and you immediately see the watch. I have the pink and rose gold version. Oh and here's the warranty card. Always register when you can get extended warranty because it literally costs nothing. Let's put that aside for now though. I already like the display, I love that it's circular, I think circular watches look the best and it's got a nice big display as well. For its price it's pretty sleek. The band is si a simple pink silicone but it can easily be changed if you fancied a different colour or material. Inside the box you also have the charging cable which you can see uses magnets. Let's plug it in and yeah it only connects one way. Okay, so it switched itself on, let's set it up. Yep, definitely English. Okay, let's scan this. And it's taken me to the download page, so let me just download the app. Yeah, so I want to allow it to use Bluetooth and allow notifications. Whoops, I don't need to change region. Skip, skip, skip this. Alright, let's start using. I'll fill out these deets and now I need to connect the watch. I'm going to use the QR code. Nice and simple and there we go, job done. Maybe not. Let's bind it and now I'm done. Back to the box, there's one last thing which is the user manual. I generally don't ever look at these but it's conveniently in the box in case it's needed. Cool, so on to the features. If you swipe to the left you'll get quick access of your activity such as steps, calories burned and distance. You'll also see your heart rate monitor, which is definitely a good thing to keep an eye on. Sleep data if you choose to wear it to bed, which I won't be doing. Weather info and music controls for when you're playing music. And there's also a phone feature for calls. Hit the top button to go back to the main screen. If you tap the top button again, it will take you to the main menu, which is made up of all the apps within the smartwatch. Scroll upwards and you've got some cool things like a heart monitor. It takes just a few seconds. And yeah, mine is pretty high right now as I've just come back from a pretty brisk walk. You can also check your blood oxygen, track your workouts, track your sleep, view messages, take photos, use the, turn on the flashlight and more. It's basically got all of the features that you'd expect in a smartwatch today. And for the price tag, it's definitely feature packed. To track your workouts, hit the bottom button and choose your activity. They are a good for you to choose from. There's one called free training if the specific one that you want isn't on there. Tap the exercise, count down from three and off you go. Obviously make sure you're actually wearing the watch when doing this. Since I'm just demoing, I'm going to stop it. Swipe right to do so. Hit the pause icon to resume or the stop icon to stop the workout. Since mine was only like a few seconds just now, it won't save it. But when you're actually on the move, then it does save. Okay, so now if you swipe down from the top, you'll see the control center where you can quickly decide if you want the watch to display the time when you flick your wrist. Audio settings for calls, sound settings, you can have the ringtone and vibration on or just one or the other. You can also put the watch into do not disturb mode where it won't basically disturb you except for if you have an alarm set. And then you've got some options to change the watch face. Only four are installed by default, but there are plenty to choose from in the app. Simply open the app, select Dial Center, and then pick the one that you like. I think this mechanical one is really cool. Hit Sync Dial. This will then essentially download it to your watch and display the watch face that you chose. And finally, if you swipe up from the bottom, you'll see all of your notifications. You can click into it and it will give you the option to delete it. So yeah, this smartwatch is really good for the price and I really like the UI design of it, especially when compared to other budget smartwatches. Oh, and I did forget to go over one thing, the menu style. You have three options. Nine grids is my personal favour as you get a better glimpse of all of the apps. See? The other one is the minimalist style, which is a horizontal version of the grid. And then you've got the list grid style, which is the default. I like this one, but the nine grid one is definitely my preferred one. So guys, if you're looking for a smartwatch and don't want to spend a stupid amount of money, this is a brilliant option for less than £50 on Amazon. And if you happen to get it when there's a voucher available, then it's even cheaper. Link to it is in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace.